Okay, compute this thing, model 13. Well, let's begin. 4 to the 10. Instead of some multiplying things out here, we can say, well, two, 4 is 2 squared, so this is then 2 to the 20. And now, well, you know 13 is a prime. We can use Fermat's last little theorem. So 2 to the 12 is 1. So 20 minus 12 is 2 to the 8. 2 to the 8, well, this is 2 to the 4 square, so this is 16 square, 16, and 13 is 3, this is 3 square, so we get 9. And everything here is happening, modulus 13. Okay, next term. 5 to the 9, well, it's 5 square to the fourth power, and then we have one more factor of 5. 5 square, you know what that is, that's 25. 25 minus 13, well, that's 1 less than 26, half the cards in the deck. So here we have minus 1 to the 4 times 5, and that's, of course, just 5. Then we have 6 to the 8. Well, we can rewrite that as 36 to the fourth power. 36. Well, that's 3 less than 39, which is in multiple 13. So we have minus 3 to the power of 4. Minus 3 squared, the same as 3 squared is 9. So this is 9 squared. 9 is negative 4. I try to avoid multiplying out large numbers here. So minus 4 squared, well, you know that's 16, which is 3. And finally, 7 to the 7, well, 7 squared, 3, then that's 6. Back to 7, so there's one more 7 to make that 7 there. That's 49 cubed. The 49 is 3 less the number of decks in a card. So we have minus 3 cubed times 7. Well, I multiplied it out. Minus 27 times 7. 27 is 1 more than 26. So 27 is a congruent of 1. So we get here that this is minus 7. I'm almost out of space here. So all I have to know is just add the four things up. 9 plus 5 plus 3 minus 7. 14, 17, minus 7. So that gives me 10. Everything here has been mod 13. Hooray!